हेलो एवरी वन वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज आरजू कक्कड़ आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल लेट अस हैव अ लुक ओवर टू डेज इम्पॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स एंड बिफोर मूविंग अ हेड लेट मी टेल यू दैट दीज क्वेश्चन आर अ पार्ट ऑफ योर डेली ट्वेंटी एन सी क्यू सीरीज दैट यू कैन गेट ऑन जी के टू डेज एंड्रॉयड एप्लीकेशन ऐप ऑल्सो मोर देन फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस क्वेश्चन आर अवेलेबल एवरी मंथ कैटेगरी वाइज क्वेश्चन आर ऑल्सो देयर सो यू कैन रेफर टू इट मूविंग टू द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन लेट अस हैव अ लुक Just give me a minute. Meanwhile, please you. I hope you are ready with the answers. But <laughs> or if if anybody is not ready with the answer, don't worry. We'll have answers. We'll have a complete analysis. Okay, then moving to the first question. Question is saying who is the head of the panel? This panel is set up to strengthen strengthen what? Strengthen the assessment and accreditation of higher educational institutions. So who is the head of this panel? Name is. K Radha Krishnan. Option A is the correct answer. What this question is all about? Let us have a look now. I hope you are ready. You you know the answers now. So the central government they set up a very high level panel. This panel is this panel is to strengthen the assessment and accreditation of higher educational institutions. You can see. uh the personality uh, we are talking about k radha krishnan who is the chair, uh, who when the, this committee has been formed under the chairmanship of uh, this personality who is the chairperson board of directors iit kanpur and also the chairperson of iit council standing committee the committee that we have recently formed the committee that has been set up by the central government what it includes it talks about strengthening the assessment of higher educational institutions uh for simple terms accreditation i i can tell you like when you are giving grade to the universities like this is grade a grade b so what do you mean by that see when uh, this uh, this accreditation if i talk about or this assessment if i talk about they play a very vital role in marking the quality assurance right so the institutions the accreditation assist the institutions ki if they are in the, if they are weak in something so definitely they will understand their strength like let's say if you are given the grades if uh, if you are fine okay you are getting b grade you are getting c grade so you will work upon yourself no if you are getting low numbers similar is the case they will work upon themselves the, where they are weak if there if there requires any funding so what is what is the whole soul scenario also when any university or any higher educational institutions they are given this accreditation it helps the students also the employers also the society in general so that they can make a decision right uh, regarding the quality education that is being offered in that particular institution so it acts as a source of reliable information where the students can rely on when they are taking admissions to any university right so that is why this particular committee is formed so as to strengthen the whole so this scenario of assessment and accreditation of the higher educational institutions with this i am moving to the second question the question is saying what is the approximate area of the annual antarctic ozone hole as per the nasa report so what is that approximate area of the antarctic ozone hole it is 23.2 million square kilometers option b is the correct answer now what is this ozone hole is there any hole in the ozone no c what is the actual scenario if you all know you know about ozone layer right which is the protective layer of the earth it gets depleted it is depleting and it forms a hole over the south pole as we are talking about antarctica so it forms a hole over the south pole every year annually during the spring time due to some human made chemicals that is the scenario so let me take you one step deep into it see what happens now during the southern hemisphere the climatic conditions get changed and when there is a spring season uh from like from august to you can say october right so there is a ozone hole this this ozone hole it forms annually annually over the antarctic right uh so this is the case and the reason for this ozone hole is chlorofluorocarbons right so this is the depletion is because of the chlorine containing source uh, source gases we always think ozone hole is a hole 
it is not a hole now what happens see there is ozone layer it is in layers because of the uh, pollution you can say because of these chlorofluorocarbons that now we are uh, and, and that are entering into the atmosphere this layer gets uh, earlier it is thick now it get, gets thin 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 day by day day by day day by day it is not a hole it is when when uh, the air the thickness of the air is getting uh, reduced it is getting depleted that is ozone hole don't consider it as a hole it is the uh, thinning of the layer because of the uh, pollution and these chlorofluorocarbons right but because of these uh, because of the certain so will not go deep into the geography concept but because of certain climatic conditions that happen in the month of october august to october uh, then the uh, it happens annually the area of the antarctic ozone hole it gets uh, it increases right so this is the scenario got it i hope so Actually, moving on to the next question. India's largest wind turbine has been recently installed in which state? And before moving to this question, let me tell you. I hope now you all know about ozone, which uh, which is in the stratosphere layer, right? In the layers of atmosphere, there is troposphere, then there is stratosphere, and in that stratosphere, there is ozone layer that protects the Earth from the UV radiations. I hope you all know about the importance of ozone layer, right? So this is this was the case. That is ozone. now coming to the third question india's largest wind turbine has been recently installed they are asking you in which state so the name of the state is gujarat option b is the correct answer so they are very tall i would say matlab the turbine this turbine is said to be taller than the statue of unity 182 meters and this this has been installed by adani new industries has installed this largest wind turbine generator wtg at mundra in gujarat so this uh, mundra uh, wintech limited uh, this turbine has been installed installed by mwl which is a wholly owned subsidiary of the uh, incorporated by adani enterprises limited if i talk about wind sector wind energy wind turbine so what are these terms first of all though let me tell you it it is all i all you know that it is a renewable uh, source of energy now uh, creating electricity using thermal power plants obviously it is uh, it it will uh, as we are working on climate change we have some our uh, uh, challenges we we have our have our nationally determined uh, contributions also right so um, obviously it is it is not a source that that uh, we should take forward it it leads to pollution when you are coming with the, with the renewable sources of energy wind turbine basically you see here which runs through uh, the velocity of the wind these these blades run and electricity is generated so here when the electricity is generated through the cables and there are stairs also so through these cables this electricity is brought down and uh, then there is a connecting pipeline which connects and you send it to the substations then the grids and later on it is distributed so this is the case and when i talk about india's potential so india has a potential of about you can say 60 gigawatts of wind we can substantially go and we can increase it also when uh, you can replace your old power stations wind power stations with the new one right and uh, the other unexplored area is in the oceans so near the offshore and the onshore areas we come up with this where the velocity of the wind is very high so that it can generate we can install these uh, towers or uh, these turbines clear wind turbine this is the scenario then moving to the next question which indian chess player won the open and women's men titles in the asian continental chess championship you can see their pictures i hope with their uh, photographs you are very able you are able to go uh, come to a uh, answer r pragnananda and pv nandita option a is the right answer they are associated with which uh, sports this this can be, this can also be a way question can be asked like that so they are associated with chess option a is the correct answer moving on to the next question ela bhat who passed away recently was the founder of which flagship institution yes please what do you think is the right answer a b c d if you are going with option a you are absolutely correct women's activist you can see her picture 89 year old she recently passed away she is one of the founder of she was one of the founder of 
self employed women's association that was formed as a trade union where women's working are working in and in this organized unorganized sector and now they are reaching to a number of 2 million members right so she has changed the lives of lakhs of women she is an epitome of women empowerment she is one of the pioneer in this field she is known as gentle revolutionary who has changed the lives of lakhs of women providing them micro loans for five decades through her organization she is a renowned women's right activist name is ella bhat she is also empowered with padma bhushan and other uh, international recognition awards are also given to her so please do remember her name as well it can be asked moving on which indian state is set to host the track asia cup 2022 cycling tournament yes now what is the right answer of this question the name of the state is kerala option c is the correct answer kerala is set to host this cycling tournament track asia cup cycling tournament where around 200 cyclists from over 25 countries in asia they will take part in it and it is conducted outside delhi for the very first time track asia cup is sanctioned by asian cycling confederation and cycling federation of india in which month world tsunami awareness day is observed yes please in which month world tsunami awareness day is observed what do you think is the month if if you say ki okay ma'am we are covering november month current affairs so november is the right answer this logic goes well uh, but uh, for, uh, only for this session and in the exam it will not be like that so please do remember the date also i'll tell you but please do remember 5th of november or november month is the world tsunami awareness day in 2015 united nation declared that each year 5th november will be observed would be observed as world tsunami awareness day where you will raise awareness among the people right and uh, basically what are the effective tools how people can protect themselves how we can prevent this hazard before becoming it a disaster so how you can be prepared and what steps should be taken it is a reminder that one must be ready right so this is the scenario and a very important point i hope that you all remember 13th october we have covered this that on 13th of october we celebrate what inter we observe international day for disaster reduction so this day 5th of november aligns to this international day for disaster reduction also it aligns to one other thing i hope you all remember sendai framework seven targets of sendai framework that talks about disaster reduction 2015 to 20 30 clear so this is also indirectly revision moving on to the next question which country's president will be the chief guest at the 17th pravasi bharatiya divas convention i hope you all know you don't know no problem let us uh, come to the answer guyana option c is the correct answer of this question so guyana's country's president dr mohammad irfan ali will be the chief guest of this 17th pravasi bharatiya divas convention when we celebrate pravasi bharatiya divas 9th of january this day is uh, why this date is selected because this is the date when in 1915 mahatma gandhi arrived to india from south africa first thing also pravasi bharatiya divas is celebrated it acknowledges the difficulties that are faced by the indian expatriate uh, workers living abroad and it this is a platform this day basically acts as a platform to create a network of uh, nris right the young generations and uh, basically talking about their contribution that they have given significantly to the development of the country and to honor uh, yes uh, to to you you can say that uh, the achievements let's let's celebrate it right so this day acts as a platform where you create a network of the nris in all the countries and connect them to them as well so indian diaspora also plays a very important role people to people ties people to people connect in other countries they also play a very important role right the theme of this 17th pravasi bharatiya divas is diaspora reliable partners for india's progress in amritkal first thing. 
सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज वेन इट विल बी हेल्ड एज यू नो इन जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री वेर इन इंदौर मध्य प्रदेश राइट सो दिस इज ऑल्सो वन थिंग दैट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर एंड इन मैप हाउ कैन वी फॉरवर्ड मैप प्लीज सी दिस कंट्री हेयर इन साउथ अमेरिका गयाना दिस इज द प्लेस राइट बिलो इक्वेटर इज पासिंग ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकॉन इज पासिंग आई होप दैट यू यू हैव सीन दो वीडियो वेयर वी हैव कवर्ड ब्राजील ऑल्सो इन अ मैप आई टॉक अबाउट इक्वेटर इन ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकॉन दे पास थ्रू इट बट इट इज नॉट द केस विद गायना राइट कैरबियन सी इज देयर सो आई होप नाउ इट इज क्लियर वेयर दिस कंट्री इज लोकेटेड डू डू रेफर टू द मैप्स इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मूविंग ऑन विथ सिटी इज द होस्ट ऑफ एग्रोटेक इंडिया एग्री एंड फूड टेक्नोलॉजी फेयर इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू so which city is the host of agrotech india agri and food technology fair in 2022 the name of the city is chandigarh option b is the correct answer this is the 15th edition of the agrotech organized by confederation of indian industry it is scheduled to be held in chandigarh from which date from uh, 4th of november to 7th of november what is this year's theme digital transformation for sustainable agriculture and food security which other ministries are associated and the partners for cii uh, for this agrotech ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare ministry of food processing industries and apida that is agriculture and processed food products export development authority c you know agriculture me technology you you need to make sure we have covered it try to link these things when i say uh, if if you talk about innovation if you talk about startups these startups these entrepreneurs these young minds can come with the innovative ideas to the challenges that the agriculture sector is facing right and all those traditional method that farmer are using you can uh, through their awareness through these innovative ideas you can bring a transformation bring making it more sustainable ensuring food security helping the farmers to come up with these modern techniques right and uh, uh, also uh, it will help us in improving the efficiency profitability and sustainability so using the technology in the agriculture it is this is one such step and basically ensuring startups they to come up with their innovative mindset innovative solutions to their to the challenges that the agriculture sector is facing i hope you remember that i also already talked about in certain sessions this is the extra knowledge where you can link that coming up with these technologies like drone technology in the agriculture sector it can lead to further much development you can boost your india's gdp uh, contributing to the agriculture sector like to 1 to 1.5% right so do try to link these things don't just mug up the facts and which state is the host of purple Fe fest celebrating the diversity i hope the answer is in front of you now but let us have a look over the right answer again now just give me a second yeah so which state is the host of the purple fest celebrating diversity goa so this particular fest goa chief minister pramod sawant unveiled the logo to be held where in panaji in january 2023 so this is the very first of its kind inclusive festival for persons with disabilities right goa state commission for persons with disabilities will host this fest in association with directorate of social welfare and entertainment society of goa right so here government will come up with the further steps also for the announcements also uh, what other steps can be taken to make it more inclusive this this uh, the persons with disabilities coming up with the courses like sign language for these special people right so this will be in the coming times here this session is not over but today's current affairs are over now let us have a look over your revision category questions right what is the first question so here we'll have a look over the category sports category games associated which indian state or ut has inaugurated rajiv gandhi rural olympic games rajasthan what is the position of india in 2022 commonwealth games fourth position Tejaswin Shankar became the first Indian to win a medal in the Commonwealth Games in which sport? 
प्लीज थिंक हाई जम्प इंडिया वन इट्स फर्स्ट एवर मेडल इन विच स्पोर्ट इन द कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू लॉन बॉल्स अशनित हु क्लिंस्ड गोल्ड मेडल फॉर इंडिया इन द कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इज एसोसिएटेड विद विच स्पोर्ट्स वेट लिफ्टिंग दिस इज योर होमवर्क Birmingham, which hosts the twenty-second Commonwealth Games, it is a city of which country? UK. Who has been selected as the Team India flag bearer at the twenty twenty-two Commonwealth Games? PV Sindhu. Which animal features in the thirty-sixth National Games twenty twenty-two to be held in Gujarat? Lion. Which institution has launched campaign Create for India to cheer the Indian contingent of the Commonwealth Games Sports Authority of India which is the venue of Asian Games in 2023 China Let us take some other questions as well Who has been named as the captain of Indian women cricket team in 2022 Commonwealth Games Harman Preet Kaur Which is the host of the national games conducted by the Indian Olympics Association in twenty twenty two, Gujarat? Which Indian sports person clinched the men's javelin throw gold at twenty twenty two Kartin Games? Neeraj Chopra. Neeraj Chopra bettered his national record in javelin throw in the Pavo Narmi Games held in which country? Finland. Which state clinched the top position in the Khelo India Youth Games 2022? Haryana. And which is the venue of Khelo India Youth Games 2021? Haryana. Sorry, 2021. Haryana again. Which is the venue of 19th Asian Games scheduled to be held in 2022? Hangzhou, China. Which is the mascot of the fourth Khelo India Youth Games 2022? This is your homework. then moving to the other category having some miscellaneous questions here the very first question is what is the theme of 2022 international week of deaf people yes think do you remember building inclusive communities for all right Which state launched the diagnostic service for people named Express Clinic? Karnataka. And which state passed a bill to help SS SCST people appeal against the refusal to caste certificate? West Bengal. Which is the say which state is said to provide unique farm ID as well as family ID to the people of the state? Uttar Pradesh. Which organization in its report stated that fifty million people worldwide are stuck in modern slavery? ILO. The International Day for People of African Descent. It was observed in which year? It first observed in which year? Twenty twenty one. Which neighboring country of India has experienced a monster monsoon which killed over thousand people? Pakistan. When is International Day of the World's Indigenous People observed? Ninth of August. UN backed agencies they issued first ever global policy framework to protect which category of people displaced due to climate change? Children. This question is your homework. And then, which country recently signed an executive order aimed at protecting LGBTQ people? USA. This is your homework. So there are total of seven questions, and I expect answers from you all. And I expect that you are liking these sessions. You are enjoying this learning as much as I am enjoying teaching you. So with this, I Arzu Kakkar wish everybody a very best of luck. Happy learning, everyone. Take care. Thank you. Do like this session as well. Thank you once again.